Good morning. It's Friday the 24th of May and we're looking at chapter 24 of the book of Proverbs. Uh, it's our last day on the Proverbs for the time being, um, but I'm sure we will come back to them. There's still a few more fantastic chapters. And um, if you've already read your portion of scripture this morning, this whole chapter, you will know that an honest answer is like a kiss on the lips. <laughs> So uh, anyone who wants to phone me and ask a question today, I guess she'll give you an honest answer. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's a fun one. I wonder what your experience of being kissed on the lips is. Uh, who knows? Who knows? I think I think it's saying it's a really good thing, not an inappropriate thing. So there we go. But the verse that I want to pull out comes straight after it. Uh, verse 27 says, put your outdoor work in order and get your fields ready, and after that, build your house. My uh, worldly translation of this is jam tomorrow. I had an old mentor who used to say jam tomorrow, Fro. Um, basically, that means that, you know, do what needs to be done today and tomorrow will be a bit better. And what wisdom there is in that idea of delaying our pleasure, putting our fields in order today so that tomorrow we will build our house and then things will, you know, be better. Thinking ahead for the future. We don't store away in barns. We don't focus on uh, kind of hoarding away at the expense of being generous. But it is absolute wisdom, isn't it, to, to think ahead and to plan confidently for the future and to do what needs to be done today in order that tomorrow will be uh, a bit more secure so that we can live uh, with more confidence, make better decisions and live with fewer regrets, as Andy Stanley says, and I've been saying throughout this week because it's such a great expression. Uh, it's not in the Proverbs, but I think the, the message of the Proverbs is very much, if you can make some wise choices today, um, then your life will be better. So I hope you enjoy reading this whole chapter. If you haven't done it yet, get your highlighter out, underline a few things, write some notes, because God has something to say to each of us individually in our situation um, as we read these proverbs. So I'm going to pray. It's Friday. I'm going to pray. <laughs> Father God, thank you for your wisdom. Thank you that you made us in a particular way so that we would thrive according to your laws and ways. So help us to have minds that are teachable and soft and a will that wants to do um, everything that you've commanded us and even all the things that you advise us. Uh, God, help us to make good decisions and we pray that you would give us wisdom. Thank you, God, that you say that if we lack wisdom, we can ask and you will give generously without finding fault. We ask, God. Thank you that you're the giver. Amen. Amen. Okay, see you soon. Bye-bye.